EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live opening round coverage of the BioWare Classic. Hello again and welcome, Rich Lauder alongside my colleague Frank Navalo for EA Sports, getting set to go at the Wetlands Golf and Country Club. We're located along the St. John's River in the great state of Florida. We have already begun. Let's pick up with the action at hole number four. Early in the round, still holding steady, even par on the day. Yeah, it's got that feel it could go either way here. Next few holes will probably tell us which way. Sit down, get down. Oh, this is, this is gone. Certainly had enough power, just didn't have any touch. Second shot, good look at the green. What am I doing? Didn't knock down the flag stick, but he still has a chance. 21 steps, or should I say feet. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the reed. Oh, you can see the frustration almost kicked his putter head right there with a drop shot here at the fourth. Nudge this one home, finish it up. Well, with that drop shot, moves to one over for the tournament. Good look now at the fifth hole here at the wetlands, par five, and it's a good one, 635 yards. Well, that was a beautiful drive, Frank. Really good position to take advantage. Uh, sitting up beautifully in the fairway. Nice position, short grass, second shot. Light waggle, relaxed arms, ready to go. Oh, solid strike right in the heart of the green. He's making the game look very simple right now. See it, hit it, and he's got it right on track. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Came to the putt, excited to make birdie. Now, a settle for par. Yeah, a little change in the uh, attitude right now. When you've let one go, you've got to really knuckle down there and make sure you don't drop a shot. It's important this one goes in. Frank, that's a par, and onward we go. Par four sixth here at the wetlands, 440 yards and water to deal with. Two choices here, Rich. Lay it up, short of the wetlands, or, well, chance it, brave enough, tee it up, and flash it across the wetlands to just a mere short yeah. iron into this lengthy par four. Let's risk it for a biscuit. Oh, beautiful swing, and the result is every bit as good. Pretty good drive here. Another straight one. Good strike, good lie, 
Good chance to attack the pin. Well, it's going to take a good one here, considering what they've already gone through, Rich. Um, right now, that green is going to look very small, so it's going to take a good shot here to give himself an opportunity. Some really poor play to this point. What do you mean, some poor play? Yes. Booty try up next. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Yeah, and with that birdie, moving into the top 20 on the leaderboard. Here at the par 5 7th at the Wetlands Golf and Country Club, 592 yards. Great way to start a hole nicely placed in the fairway. Looks like he's going to have a go at it here at the par five, his second shot. He's going to drive it again. Ready for his third shot, needs to hit this close. Well, you can't hide the flagstick from that man. He is just uh, unbelievable, that, that never deviated off line. Well, he's going for back to back birdies here, trying to jump start this round. Some momentum moving in the right direction. And who knows? It is a four-round tournament, setting himself up for a good weekend, maybe a great one. The young star makes his birdie. EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live second-round coverage of the BioWare Classic. It is just an ideal day for golf. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Nabilo for EA Sports. We're getting set for all the action this afternoon at Wetlands Golf and Country Club in Florida. And this is certainly a challenge, Frank. It is. We really should rename it Drylands because that's the way you want to play this golf course. If you're not dry, then you are going to be wet. That swampland uh, is just uh, all the way around this golf course. Um, in between it, though, is fairway. So fairway, the goal all day today. And as always, with the state of Florida, you have to factor in the changing winds. We're ready to go. Off to the first hole. Getting ready to tee off, coming off a solid first round. Let's see if our featured golfer can conjure up some of that magic here in round number two, Frank. Well, that's got to be 300 yards, isn't it? Almost. And from the fairway for his second shot here. Let's drive it again.
Now his third, staring right at the green. Good looking shot right here. Well, that is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, it's a full melody now. Made a par in his previous round. This time, it's for birdie. Let's go. Suddenly a ray of sunshine with that birdie. And there was so hope. And on the top 25. Coming for you, Poulter. Strong par five to start, followed by a good par three. The second hole is 225 yards. Two bunkers, Rich, when you look at this par three. In between is a nice corridor, and that's really the line that you want to be looking at going at this par three. Just thread the gap, and you should safely find the green. That will be a great look at birdie. Frank going for another birdie here. Just to get on a real roll. Yeah. That drops for another birdie. Two in a row to start the round. Fairly straightforward par four now. The third at the wetlands is 460 yards straight away. It is 460 yards. Uh, it can be chopped down a lot of different ways. 300 yard tee shot, and it's only 160. But if you're a mere mortal, 280, 180, the hole becomes that much longer, that much harder. Game's about rhythm. It, when you have good rhythm, it just looks effort effortless. To hit the ball 300 yards through the air, that easy. That is an excellent play right there. The approach, giving him another good look. These putts keep the round together. Yes. All things pointed to a good week. Birdie there, very important right now. Play some good golf. Wow, check this out, Frank. Par 3, fourth, 250 yards. This is a really cool hole. It is. You tee off, and uh, that tee shot right across the swampland into a crescent-shaped green. And, of course, it is protected by that bunker. That just cuts in. It doesn't give you very much depth on that middle line of the green. So if the pin's in the middle, that's when the hole plays its most difficult. That just came out blazing. As soon as it hit the green, it was never going to stop. Settles in, looking to knock it in tight. Frank, still relatively early in the round, but given what we've seen so far, this could be a heck of a golf round. Yeah, right now, everything's just going according to plan. It's like he's playing on all eight cylinders. So really, you're just trying to get out of your own way. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. Makes it right in the center. Two rounds in the books, Frank, and a good spot from which to make a move. Yeah, well positioned. Uh, really, you know, if you're leading, it's a different pressure. Been in the chaser pack there, playing well. What a great position to go into with two rounds to go. Still two shots off. 